Tour presents the 1997 Mercedes Championships from La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. Each January, the PGA Tour champions from the prior season come to La Costa to start the golf season anew. And coming into 1997, the story, Tiger Woods, age 21, two-time winner in 96, anticipation of plenty, a big gallery on hand three and a half hours ago, the first group of the first event. Orlando, Florida, the winner of two events on the 1996 PGA Tour, the Las Vegas Invitational and the Walt Disney World Oldsmobile Classic, Mr. Tiger Woods. Fairway, and with that, 1997 PGA Tour season begins. Here's what Tiger Woods did in his first round of the 97 season. This was Tiger's second shot to the green on the par four, 412 yard first hole. So Tiger certainly had a makeable putt, a chance for birdie on the very first hole of the year. That just par two moves to the par three third. Off the tee, he was in the rough, Curtis. Well, everybody knows about Tiger's strength, but watch this. Has a great little touch. He's worked on that short game during the off season. Makes the birdie at three. Made the turn at 35, one under par. A string of eight consecutive pars for Tiger Woods. Takes the 21-year-old to the 12th hole. Par five, 541 yards, a long drive. Well, 310 off the tee, hitting a full iron for a second shot. Most of the players aren't even getting there in two. Incredible length. And that left Tiger an eagle putt on 12 and an opportunity to tie for the lead. At that point. And this is to take advantage of some of that length. First eagle of the 97 PGA Tour season, Tiger Woods, tied for the lead at that point. Then to 15, a par putt. Well, yeah, left a 30 footer about four or five feet short, downhill left to right. Losing a stroke to par there. Tiger drops back to two under, then comes to 18, the par four, 421 yard hole. Long drive, then left with this putt for par. That he knocks down, so Tiger Woods finishes the first round of the season, two under par 70. Tiger's opening round 70 leaves him four shots off the pace by reigning PGA Tour Player of the Year, Tom Lane. Beautiful West Coast, just a few miles in from the Pacific Ocean. Over 450 acres sprawls the La Costa Resort and Spa here in Carlsbad, California. Just one half hour north of San Diego, 90 minutes south of Los Angeles. A glorious week of weather continues as the 1997 PGA Tour begins. Round two of this championship. The hottest man on the golf course is the man everyone's talking about, Tiger Woods. His second shot at the par four eighth hole. The slight dog leg right, Tiger the approach, and now a birdie putt. Tiger Woods sizzling on the front side, five under par. We pick up second round action with Tiger on the tee at the par 3 14. This is a five iron for Tiger, gripping down the shaft just a little bit. Looks like he's going to cut it a little bit, get it up in the air to stop it on the green very quickly. Mm -hmm. Drove down to the tee. Oh. Beautiful shot. Let's go back to 10. Tom Lehman for a birdie, and he's done it again. The birdie moves Lehman to 10 under par. 
Now ahead to 14 for Tiger's birdie bid. Tiger Woods for a birdie at the 14th and head still. Good smooth stroke. Simple game. We go forward to 17. Davis Love, third shot. Seven under. One of four players at seven under now in second position. Yeah, that was a dampish lie. Oh, and a fine result. Fine result. As we go back to 15. That's the ball of Tiger Woods, right hand rough. Moments ago, second shot here. It was from just inside of 150 yards. Oh, right there on the right. Came out dead, Judy. The 17. Davis Love at the 17th for a birdie, and in she goes. So the scoring really is hotting up now. This is third shot. Back to Tiger at 14. He held a pitch from deep rough yesterday at the third hole. And as Judy said, he's missed enough greens today that he's uh, working on his short game. Not by choice, I might add. After three straight pars, Tiger's short game would again be put to the test at the par 4 18th. That was real close to being a good shot. Just a little bit more, and it would have run right to the hole. Now Tiger to save his par. Par saved for Tiger Woods, who finishes this round five under 67. Five under on the front, scrambles to finish an even par on the way back in. Tiger's 67 is matched by Lehman, who maintains his lead heading into the weekend. A familiar sound, a familiar sight. The La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, where the PGA Tour season starts every year with winners from the prior season. Tiger Woods started this day four strokes behind the leader, Tom Lehman. He had the lead for a moment, tied with Lehman now. This is a par putt. From out of the bunker, hit a second shot long left. Good little bunker shot here, but six footer here. Just three putted the hole before for bogey. So very important putt. Don't want to let too much slip away. There's two short ones in a row that can start to weigh on you. So back to back bogeys Tiger Woods goes from sole possession of the lead to a share of the lead now one stroke behind Tom Lehman all December yeah. magazine covers books we've heard Tiger Woods Tiger Woods so much hype he's come out here on the golf course and proven that the hype has been justified well he's he's we all know about his potential you know we read about it I think a lot of people might be a little tired about it uh, magazines are even getting into the hype and giving him some awards and whatnot but he comes out and he doesn't disappoint. He has a strength we know, he has the game, he has the personality, the nickname, but he doesn't disappoint. He has that kind of game to bring him out and really entertain. Crowds here are like they've never been when this event is played in January, but these fans are coming to see Tiger and Davis Love the Third and Fred Couples, but when you walk away from La Costa or many other events, you walk away very often talking about Tom Lehman. And you say, why is that? Well, first of all, you realize he is a nice man, and you feel that when you watch him play. You gotta also realize he's the world's number two player. Uh, I think he's the best player in the U.S. right now. Give Tiger a year or so. Uh, he's just, he has the strength, he has the length, he's the current British Open champion. He's around every week, it seems like. He's always in contention. Couldn't ask for better names and better players to be in contention. Let's pick up some more of the action of the Mercedes Championships as we go to 14. Now Tiger, six iron. Got two strokes in a row. Drove into that, seemed to take a deep divot. Oh, that's better. Oh, the 
that's better. Got his memory back to the 13th. Tom Lehman, our leader, where he started the day at 11 under par. Nice drive, 150 yards to the hole. These holes going toward the end of the course, playing a little longer today because there isn't any wind. To 14. Now Tiger Woods having dropped two strokes at the two previous holes. Beautiful tee shot here with a six iron at the 14th. And this to get one back, this to go 11 under, and once more tie for the lead with Tom Lehman. And he certainly watched Davis's putt not turn at the hole, so maybe learn something there. Three in a row. This can, uh, of course, gnaw your confidence or get you a bit annoyed. Or a combination of all sorts of things. It's still a par. It's not the end of the world, but uh, three small putts in a row by someone of his putting caliber, not good. After his wonderful second shot at 13, Tom Lehman for birdie and a two-stroke lead. Got a good teach from Furyk, put it on the same line. Second birdie of the day for Lehman to 16. Fred Couples launched his second shot here at 16 left of the green. Now from the left hand rough needs to flop it up very softly here. Wow, nearly in but still five feet for Fred who just missed it from two feet for a par back at 15. To 14. Tom Lehman. Five iron from Lehman, not a breath of wind out here. Easy pin position for this guy, don't you think, Rossi? Very easy, yes. Boy, it's a great looking shot here. Tell you, he can uh, put those irons time and time again right by the flag. To 16. Fred Couples for par from about six feet. I mentioned he just missed it from two feet at 15. He's better from that distance than he is two feet. Good save there for par for Fred Couples. Well, Freddie went cross-handed, went short backstroke, accelerates through the ball, keeps those short ones on line pretty well. Let's go to 50. Tiger Woods now with his second shot. One twelve for Tiger. The hole just four paces onto the green. Well, yesterday he missed this green in a similar fashion, made birdie with a nice chip in and the view from up above and a beautiful one it is as Tiger Woods now approaches this very makeable putt from just off the front of the green. Can Even though it's not on the green, it's uh, only about 15 feet and right up into the slope. Woods has played the front side beautifully at eagle on two, birdies at four and seven. as quickly as we talk about the short ones that he misses he makes one that would really sort of write this momentarily listing ship there's the 17th stretching along really good par five 569 yards Fred couples now his third shot a languid swing Fred it seems to we always seem to see uh, on many occasions Fred missing shots and yet he holds so many or plays the par fives get so many birdies on the fives that he seems to be always in contention. Right. I think you hit it right there Peter. He makes a lot of birdies. 
Might miss, hit some shots once in a while, but catches up in a hurry. Very explosive. Get up. Yard. And it's got up, okay. Perfect shot. Back at the par 4, 16th. Good look from up above. Very demanding hole, but here's a man who you would expect to handle it. Watch his extension back away from the ball. You cut the extension away from the ball, you create a lot of leverage, you can get a lot of club head speed. Great camera angle there. To 15. Lehman has a terrible lie in the rough. The ball Boy. sunk down, a lot of grass behind it. it has 130 kind of yards. Right. I think if you catch it right, it'll go pretty well. Up to the right side, you think? Yeah, I think. Yeah. You, heard Tom, you heard Tom talking to Andy Martinez's caddy saying if you catch it, it'll it'll go pretty good, meaning if he gets down steep on it, maybe swing your hands and club upright a little bit more, come down straight on top of the ball, try to make good contact. Uh, go, baby, go. And it never hurts to be that strong either. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Terrific play from there. The 16. Tiger with a wedge in his hand after another monster drive. Go, baby, go. You know, that was a big part of the story back at the 12. He could easily put the ball on the green where he drove it. He only had 215 to the front when he made that six. Let's move to 17. But now couples after that beautiful third shot for a birdie. Freddie was number one oh, last wow, year in really par fives. Both missed. The greens are a little soft, and although there's only a small number of players, they just get marked a little bit, and just actually striking the ball at the right speed into the hole isn't quite as easy as it may look on occasion. Here at 15, Lehman looking over this birdie putt. Through two days, Lehman had been almost flawless tee to green. Only missed four greens through 36 holes. And if you saw very briefly a graphic a moment ago, he's only missed three greens today. But more importantly this week is the fact that Lehman has made perhaps six or seven putts of this length. Anytime a player makes putts over 15 feet, it's, it's almost like a jackpot for these guys, Rossi. Andy Martinez at his side has been together for about four years. They really make a great team. It's almost more of a, of a melding or blending of personalities and two are very low key complement one another very well. Well when Tom Lehman shoots averages 68.42 for the third round all of last year it makes for a good team don't you think Steve. <laughs> yes indeed. It certainly helps. What is one of his better reads? See, that was probably Tom's fault. When Tom made the two putts before, it was it was both of their <laughs> good work, right? <laughs> to 16. Tiger Woods for birdie here at 16 after missing three short putts in a row. Judy hold one of just about the same distance back at 15. You know, each day he's missed a couple of uh, important short putts. Uh, I suppose every putt's important, but it hasn't deterred him, and he has come back and made putts each day also. We talked about the par 5 12 toll where Tigers had 15 <laughs> strokes in three days, but that was with a three and two sixes. As always, Mike Cowan, the caddy, very close to Tiger. Seems to be giving him some sort of advice on almost every shot. One of the things that he has really liked about this golf course is the fact that if you get the ball within 20 feet of the hole or so, the greens are not real sloping and undulating, and uh, putts are very makeable. Oh, boy, boy. So Tiger Woods with back to back birdies has now climbed. So within one shot of our leader, Tom Lehman. To 17. Guy Burrows putting for a birdie. 
famous golfing name. And I tell you what, keep doing that. A late comer to the game, you might say, 32 years of age now. His father, Julius, and dear old friend of mine, won two US Opens and many more events. Nice to see him doing so well, Guy Boros. Now, Tiger back on the tee. He's hit nine of the 12 fairways so far. And he might have a chance here today, Peter, if he really gets his tee shot good. Those cameras away. Well, that certainly looks straight wow, enough. Yeah. Over nice the road away. she comes. There have been two official holes for measuring today, the ninth and the twelfth. Davis Love, of course, no mean hitter of the ball. He, he's been known to punish that bit of rubber on occasions. But uh, Woods has him by 13 yards. Layman's 165 oh, yards. Oh, about five. Yesterday, after hitting a good drive, he was 190. So you can see the hole's playing a lot shorter today. Andy Martinez sure seemed convinced that it ought to be a seven iron shot for Tom. Always seems to have good distance on these iron shots. Go. Go. That'll come up about 18 feet short of the hole. As we move forward, 18. Winner of the Players' Championship last year, couples for birdie. Three under 69 on Thursday and Friday, a two under par round of 70. Today for Fred Couples, five strokes currently behind our leader, Tom Lehman. Let's go to 17. There's a view looking down onto the par 5, 17th, Tiger Woods. There's a little trackway, a little walkway there on the top right of your screens. Tiger's gone over that. In fact, he outdrove uh, Davis Love by some 20 yards on this hole. He may be having a cut at it in two. If he is, it's very dangerous. Big cheer you heard as uh, we came back to this 17th hole was a uh, tiger taking the wood out of the bag. Fans <laughs> here are very pleased. Well, it's like people sitting around the guillotine, you know, the French Revolution, you know, knitting and watching the hope, in some ways hoping for a disaster and also hoping that he's going to land it right in the middle of the green. I get it to be 253 to the front of the green, and this is a slight downhill lie. Get up there! Oh, that started left. Needs Keep to cut, doesn't it, Judy? Keep well, it's just, just left. <laughs> First time ever. First time ever anyone's reached this hole in two in this event, certainly. And there should be a prize for that, if not a car, perhaps a bicycle. That's really terrific. Tom Lehman at the 16th. Birdie putt for Lehman of about 18 feet. Looks like it goes left, Mark, but this is one that, that really doesn't break very much. Yeah, Rossi, this green is, it seems to be as flat as a pancake up there. This is the distance he's been very good from this week. Wow, he can't believe it. Ahead to Tiger's eagle attempt at 17. Now, oh, two nice putts would do it. He's a long way away. He's hit two magical shots here, and two putts will count the same as 569 yards. Just coming out of that little shadow. Very good speed from such long range, but just tails off at the end. Still a bit of work to do. And behind, Tom Lehman drives. The Tiger Woods ball ran over that pathway, and Lehman's no short hitter. So it just shows you the, uh, the power that uh, young Tiger Woods can generate in that tall, slim body of his. 
He's a good 25 yards short of that road, Peter. And Tiger replaces. Now these, he's missed a couple of these, primarily I think because he struck them perhaps too hard. Confidence of youth. A different technique from Davis, more uh, looking at the hole. Jose Maria Olazabal, a great one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven looks he has, and let's hope, I, for one and many others, hope that he will be seen again on the golfing circuits of the world. Tiger to go to 13 under, and once more tie with Tom Lehman, who's coming up behind. birdies in a row. Lehman now third shot, 17th. A lot of mud on the ball, Peter. You have to worry about that lake. Oh, right on target. Good shot from Tom, who is now tied with Tiger. 13 under. Shortish putt for a birdie to the 18th. In the fairway, Tiger's second. 154 yards, the Mercedes flags above the bleachers are going slightly left to right. Tiger has an eight iron. Keep trying to go left. Back to 17. Now, Tom Lehman at the 17th. Well, it's not such an easy putt. It looks relatively flat, but we've seen a number over the last couple of days from this side of the green, and they just sort of wander up to the hole. We haven't seen any so far running straight into the hole. No. It was a very emotional speech that Tom made last night, and, uh, well, he's a nice fellow. If you were casting in him, movies he could do all those James Stewart roles couldn't he wouldn't miss out on any of those really nice man to the 18th Tiger Woods for birdie which would be a 65 in the best round thus far of this tournament I'm seeing inside left to split that left edge exactly where, where I'm looking I believe this is going just a hit to the right fluff has taken my job And Judy refers to the more fluff. I look at it, the more I'm thinking it's inside the hole, yeah, Tiger. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Mike Cowan, Tiger's caddy, who to me might be the best decision Tiger made was get this man on his bag. Older, more mature, been around this tour for 22 years, knows the entire ins and outs of the game. Costa's longest mile, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Back in the fairway, Lehman is now one back of Woods. Lehman hit a tremendous drive. He's got 136 yards into the hole. Just a nice, smooth nine iron. It, helping just a little bit. it feels like, yeah, what, what little there is is helping us.
Tom Lehman that putt to tie Tiger Woods to top the leaderboard at 14 under. Final two golfers on the 18th green here at La Costa. Tom Lehman, one stroke behind the leader, Tiger Woods. Best round of the tournament, seven under 65. How do you describe what that back nine was? Whew. Um, it was both, you know, good and bad. I, I, you know, birdied, uh, birdied 10, got to a good start on the backside, tried to keep my, my momentum from the front side. And all of a sudden, I made it a little disaster, three putted on the par five. I had two iron into the green, it's something I should birdie. And then I um, messed up from the fair and the next hole with the wedge in my hand. But uh, I got it back and uh, birdied the last four. As the putter started going south on you for that little bit of a turn, were you losing some confidence in your putting, or did you think you hit good putts? You know what? The short one I missed on the par five, that was a poor putt. I pulled it. But uh, on the, the par four, uh, the next hole, it wasn't too bad a putt. It just broke more than I thought. And then the par three, I really hit a good putt. It just broke the wrong way. I missed me. Hang on a second as we check Tom Lehman here, trying to tie your lead at 14 under. He has a birdie putt. Clear the field, Tiger Woods and Tom Lane get a chance to battle tomorrow. Tiger, let's talk for a moment about what happened on 15, 16, 17, 18. They call it uh, the longest mile the locals right. do. Uh, mm -hmm. Curtis Strange birdied those four holes, but few others have in tournament competition. I don't know if anyone else has. Right. Uh, as, as you hit that that stretch of holes. When you especially got to 17, were you thinking about going for that green and two after that tremendous drive? Well, I had uh, 255 to the front, and my normal three would travel is about 260 in the air if I hit a solid. So just a matter of, I was just aiming left left part of the green. If I hit it in the bunker, great, I could get up and down, but just take the water out of play. And uh, caught it really solid and actually flew about two, 260. As we wrap up, we mentioned you said you have not played with Tom Lehman before. As you right. look ahead to playing uh, in the same final twosome with him tomorrow, what are your thoughts? It's going to be fun. Um, you know, we're, we're separated, but uh, we still got to go out there and take care of business. And uh, I think we both have got to play well in order to win. Well, congratulations on some great golf today. We look forward to watching the Rookie of the Year and the Player of the Year from 96 Go Head to Head. Tiger, thanks. Thanks. One eagle, seven birdies, two bogeys for Tiger Woods. On his round, seven under 65, he's tied with Tom Lehman, the Player of the Year. Mother Nature has returned to the form that has seen most of California for January and the latter part of December, rain. Those are the only birds that we're talking about at this point. They did start play in the final round of the Mercedes Championships in Carlsbad, but as you saw, the greens became, well, inhabitable only by the aviary. There are some hardy fans, sure, still around, still waiting, still hoping that play will continue, but play was suspended at 10.58 local time, one hour and two minutes ago, with six players yet to tee off. So Phil Mickelson and the other 31 champions from the PGA Tour in 1996 who are slated to play the final round for right now are in the locker room enjoying a meal and waiting to see what will happen next. As we mentioned, six players yet to tee off as the other 25 sit and watch and wonder what will happen as the rain continues to fall at a pretty steady pace and the forecast has not improved all that much. Tiger Woods and Tom Lehman, that's what we all came to see today. They are tied for the lead at 14 under par. We've waited for two hours after play was suspended because of rain, trying to start the final round of the Mercedes Championships, but now the final round has in fact been canceled. So even though some of the field has started, half of the field did not finish. As a matter of fact, no golfer finished. So what will happen? The scores revert back to the third round completion, and that means Tiger Woods and Tom Lehman are tied. They will go to a playoff, which should start in the next 45 minutes. 1.45 local time, about 48 minutes from now. Curtis, they'll do it at the seventh hole, which is a par three hole. Why choose the seventh hole? Well, because there's so much water on the golf course. Obviously, being a par three, there's no 
fairway. Actually, there's a lot of water between the tee and, and green, but they don't have to deal with the fairway and get the water off the fairway. And as you see, there's a lot of slope from back right to front left on this green, so there's very little water on this green. And they tried to pick the green, I'm sure, that had the least amount of water so they could play. The seventh hole played very tough yesterday. Only one birdie was made at this par three yesterday. Only a few players have come through number seven thus far today, so really not an opportunity to get an accurate read on how it has played today. But we will have some time to talk about how Tiger Woods and Tom Lehman will do at the par three as they battle for first place and the Mercedes championships. Tom, you just heard not minutes ago about the decision that was made. Where were you? Well, I was in a friend of mine's room watching the football game, and I, John Morris called and said, come on down and talk to you all. And as I got in the locker room, uh, somebody grabbed me and said, oh, Andrew, my caddy said, you know, 145 on the seventh tee. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, it's, it's just this us and Tiger, 145. So down to just a couple of shots now. Well, we can speculate at length whether or not this is the right decision. I think it was the only decision that could be made under the circumstances. Any um, advantage to you and or Tiger playing seven? It's an odd hole to play being a par three, but that's one of the few dry holes, greens that lend themselves to dry conditions. Well, I really think that the big thing is going to be who has the right club. Uh, there's sometimes you get to par threes where you're in between clubs, and sometimes you're right on the number. And uh, I think if one of us, you know, has the right number, uh, it's advantage whoever that person might be. Well, listen, uh, we don't have a lot of time. I know you want to get ready. We appreciate you taking time with us. And once again, congratulations on the Triple Crown Awards, <laughs> Money and Leader, uh, Player of the Year Award last year was terrific. Great going. Thanks a lot, Steve. All right, Mike. Okay, Steve, thank you, and our thanks to Tom as he goes to get ready for the playoff at the 188-yard par-3 seventh hole, which Lehman has birdied once already this week. You know, when you look in retrospect, Curtis, it uh, came down to this putt to get Tom Lehman into a playoff with Tiger Woods. Well, Tiger also birdied 18, but this is why you try on every single shot. You never know what it'll lead to. Now Tiger Woods awaits a playoff with Tom Lehman. They'll play the par three seventh hole. We saw both players warming up right now. Let's spend a moment with our Bob Rossberg. Rossi. Thanks, Mike. I'm here with Butch Harmon, uh, the mentor of Tiger Woods, and uh, you were watching him pretty closely here while he's warming up. This is something new uh, to warm up to play one hole and a par three at that. Well, you know, the uh, seventh hole is 188 yards, Rossi, and the pin's in that left corner unless they've moved it because it's too wet, and it's going to require about a five-iron shot with a slight little draw. And this morning when Tiger was warming up, he was having a hard time drawing the ball before the rain stopped us. So I just wanted to make sure that he got in the right position and he, he was able to turn the ball over with some confidence. Uh, Butch, I, I know it's, it's a strange thing to have happen, but uh, you've got to think that they're doing the right thing. They're, they're playing a hole that's playable and the number one and the, a lot of people can watch it from the clubhouse. Well, I think they had to find a hole you could play. I mean, it's pretty bad out there, as you know. Uh, I feel bad for the other guys. I know Davis and Freddie, some of those that were five shots behind, wish they could have gone out and played, but you couldn't play the golf course. Golf course is unplayable, and I think this is what you had to do. The neat thing about it is I think you got the uh, player of the year and the rookie of the year going at it head to head. It's gotten cold out here, too, but uh, it's kind of nice to have a young body that's as supple like Tiger to come out in this stuff. How would we know? We don't have one, Bob. <laughs> yes, it is nice. Uh, he loosened up quite easily. Uh, he gets swing felt really comfortable to him, and uh, we'll go see what happens. I think it's going to be fun. Tom's a great player, and Tiger's going to be a great player someday, so it's going to be interesting. Thanks, Butch. My pleasure. Let's go back to Mike Tirico. Rossi, thanks, and you mentioned uh, it works out quite well that the par 3 seventh the T you can see from the clubhouse. They are on the T at seven. Tiger Woods and Tom Lehman set for the playoff. Bob Rosberg is with them. Mike, it's gotten extremely windy out here. The wind is blowing probably 20 miles an hour coming directly from the right and across the hole. If you look at the flag up on the hole, it isn't even moving. Of course, it's pretty wet, uh, but it's kind of in a secluded place with trees and houses back there. Up on the T, though, you can feel it. And Curtis, they're going to flip a coin to see who's going to shoot first. Uh, what's, what's your thought about, uh, would you rather win the flip? Uh, would you rather shoot first? Would you rather wait? I always like to think, Rossi, the first one in the hole wins. I want to hit first. I'd like to win the coin toss because what that does, if I hit a decent shot, then I can put all the pressure on the next guy and whatever I think I should do, which obviously in a playoff is very aggressive play, he has to play the same way if I hit it in their close. So the coin toss to me is very important. 
Well, the wind coming this hard out of the right and the Tiger over there on the tee trying to draw the ball and Butch Harmon saying he was having a little trouble early in the day uh, drawing it. I think with that lake sitting over there on the left, uh, do you think it draws the right shot here? Well, without any wind, it would be the right shot, but right now he's probably going to throw it out a little bit to the right of the hole and just let the wind take it. Don't let the don't fight the wind ever. Let the wind be your friend, so to speak, and just throw it out to the right and the wind ought to help him right back to the hole. Well, especially if he shoots first, Curtis, then he's got to he's got to block out the left. Everybody has to play aggressive here. Both of them have to shoot whatever the most aggressive shot they have. This is a, you know, one shot deal. Uh, it's strictly a, a sudden death playoff. First in wins. Uh, if you're an, if you're a conservative player, you have to change in a playoff. You have to play more aggressive. Ben Nelson of the well, PGA Tour handled the coin toss. Tiger thought it was a uh, Tiger thought it was a, excuse me. My Tiger mm -hmm. thought it was a five iron. That's all he hit over on the practice tee. Rossi, we get a look at what the players have done. Layman birdied the hole on Thursday. As you see, every other opportunity for these two players par 188 yard par three seventh hole. Crowd of about 5,000 people out here right now, braving this weather all around the one hole. Marvelous, marvelous galleries here at La Costa this week. You know what's tough here for everybody at home? It's, you know, you think this is only a five iron shot, but they haven't got any momentum for the day. When you tee off on the first hole, you hit a shot, you hit two shots, you hit a couple of putts, you gain momentum as the day goes on. This is a very important shot and it's the first one of the day. It's tough to do. For Tom Lehman on the PGA Tour, his first playoff experience. Wants to shoot this at the back bunker. See the little tongue coming down there? Shoot it just left side of that and let the wind take it to the left. Close. That ball carried in the water. Well, I think the one thing you can guarantee now is Tiger, this ball will be 20 or 30 yards to the right of the pin. Don't you think, Peter Alice? Well, if he follows him into the water, he needs his bottom smacking. You know, he's thinking to himself, what a dumb play that was. I think the one thing you want to do is put it somewhere on the green. You want to play aggressive, but you want to put it on the green and make the guy beat you with a good shot. Don't give him the tournament. Make him beat you with a birdie. Yeah, I think uh, he'll be aiming over that front middle bunker now, surely, with a five, maybe six iron. I just, well, he needs to get a three still because, uh, you know, funny things happen at this game of golf. But that was, uh, well, you could say, Tom. Hit a bad shot. He was a little too greedy. He might have played too boldly. There may have been all sorts of combinations uh, causing that pull shot, but the result was not good. Tiger now with a six iron. One good straight shot, middle of the green, two putts. Should make him the champ. Convincing, would you say? I mean, that's uh, we won't mess about just in case you hold your hole out with your next one. <laughs> that's terrific. Time, Curtis, that you think, well, he's pretty special, but let's see the next time. Let's see the next time. He adds one more piece of memory to let you sit back and say, he really is special, special. Well, for all the people, the 5,000 people that just sat around in this cold, windy weather, he doesn't disappoint. It was worth sitting around for. I think so. I'm glad we sat around for it. That is some kind of shot there. I think a lot of that's being 21 years old, being a very aggressive. 
Stuck it right at the hole. You see the ball leaning against the pin almost. Flag stick. Rossi now Lehman has to play. Yes, uh, he has to drop on this little tongue of uh, turf that juts out into the lake. He's going to have a shot of about 80 yards. Uh, I don't think Andy Martinez has got any yardage for this shot. Of course, I think that you play these shots with feel anyway. And I think he's got to think to himself, what am I even hitting this one for? He knows how close Tiger's ball is to the flag stick. I believe as cold as it is and everything, I might have just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> a lot closer to the clubhouse. Five players have played this hole today, and you see how close Tiger is. Paul Stankowski put his ball in the water and actually nearly holed out his chip. But, of course, Tiger's sitting there just inches away from a two and $216,000 first prize. Well, even if Tom holds this, it's a lost cause, really. And, and reading the paper this morning, Tiger Woods would have won one million dollars in nine tournament outings, which is quite remarkable. Ernie Els had the record before; T took him 27 events to amass a million dollars. This young man's done it in nine. Quite another staggering statistic. And we have to go back a long, long ways. Yeah, something like that. Just heard Andy say something like that. He didn't have a real accurate yardage here. Something around 90 yards. <laughs> I mean, pretty darn close to hauling out, huh? Yes, but remember the penalty shot. If that had gone in, it was a three, and Woods is just six inches away at one. So it was it was a lost cause. But uh, a, a brave effort from Lehman. But still, Peter and Curtis and Rossi, that, that shows you Tom Lehman. His entire career is typified right there. Absolutely. You can see as he walks to the green the intensity and the focus on his face. Tiger Woods has a great deal of ability physically, but he has a lot between his ears. He is very sharp. And I think maybe the greatest asset he has is that he wants to beat your brains out. And just to remind everybody, this is stroke play. This is not match play, as we talked about earlier. He has to hole out. Tom Lehman basically couldn't walk in. He had to finish the hole, and Tiger has to hole out because this is a stroke play event. Good to see you again. Although I'm sure Tom would give him this one. You know, that came up when Nicholas and Palmer tied at Oakmont in the early 60s. Uh, this same discussion as to whether they had to hole out, uh, Curtis. Now it's official Tiger Woods the 1997 winner of the Mercedes championships. His mother Tita who is here during the week. A hug for her 21 year old son. Who turned 21 on December 30th. And for the third time. In his very, very young PGA Tour career and life, is the winner of a tour event. Here's the Mercedes Benz Challenger Trophy. Congratulations. All right, that's not all, Tiger. Hang on a second. We got something else. We also have a check for $216,000. <laughs> we, we put it right in here with the rain, huh? So it doesn't dissolve. Oh, that's that's tape. Probably like, okay. okay. Well, you can deposit that's it directly in the account. I also have the key for the white 500 SL that's sitting at the 18th screen. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Tiger Woods, I can remember reading in the paper early this week that the most important $2,000 that you have made in the last few months was the money you won at Milwaukee. Right. Now you've won 216000 today. 
it, it's uh, wow, well, it's hard to believe. And uh, I know I've worked my butt off to get here, and I've been very lucky. And uh, you, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not, uh, you know, you just got to be patient and see what happens. You have played nine tournaments on the PGA Tour and won a million dollars. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you start off the year with a win. What's the rest of the year got in store for you? Well, my whole goal this year was trying to get on the Ryder Cup team. And uh, I know I got to keep playing well. And uh, hopefully uh, things will unfold and I'll be on that team. How about now, you've talked about your schedule, you really don't want to let everybody know exactly what you're going to do all year long, but you are going to play a full schedule on the PGA oh, yeah. Tour. Uh, I'm playing, a, I've pretty much mapped out my schedule all the way to the U.S. Open, and uh, you know, there may be some changes here and there, um, barring injury, you never know, but uh, we'll see what happens. We have read so much about you. What I want to know is, when you walk by a magazine stand and see your picture, say, on the cover of Sports Illustrated, uh, what do you think? I think it's a funny looking picture. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, adapting inside the ropes, you've been able to do it. It's got to be tough sometimes though outside the ropes. Well, outside the ropes is very difficult. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say it's easy, but it, it's very hard. I think the only peace I get is when I'm on a golf course and I enjoy every minute of it. You just celebrated a 21, uh, 21st birthday. How was it? I'm finally legal. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoying it, I'll be. Oh yeah, big time. All right, well congratulations on a great win. I'm sure we'll be doing this again this year. Great, thanks a lot, Rob. Okay, back to you, Mike. Mark, thank you. There is Mom Tita. We hear so much about Tiger's dad, Earl, and uh, Tiger was in here with us after Friday and said, it's great to have Mama Woods here to watch and enjoy and now celebrate with son third title on the PGA Tour.